Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Carol and today I'll be teaching you how to make something like this. It's kind of like a bracelet. Um, and it's a very special bracelet because you only need one string and that's it. You only need one string. You don't need scissors or anything else. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and like this video. Um, on my channel, I usually do origami things or crafts, but today I'm just going to teach you how to do a bracelet. But next week, um, we have a, I have a video plan that we, um, I'll teach you how, I'll teach you guys how to make a paper airplane, or actually two type of, types of paper airplanes. So if you think you'll like that, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you'll get notified next um, the next time I post a video. Let's get started making a bracelet. Okay guys, so actually I'm just gonna stay here and you'll need a piece of string about this long. Um, depending on, I'll show you how to make it first and then you can decide how long of a string you want it, depending on how long of a bracelet you want it, but you could also just cut it. And you'll only be needing the string. So this is a pretty cool, in my opinion, bracelet, but it's kind of, I forgot what the knot is called, but it's just continuously making one knot. So basically you want to take the end of the string and then put it in the back of this. So you make a loop. Um, you, you might be seeing that I'm putting it in front, but that's for your way. So in my way, I'm actually putting it in the back of the string. And then I'm gonna put my three fingers in it, grab the string and pull it but I'm not gonna pull the whole string out. I'm only gonna pull this so that it makes a loop. I'll show you again. So you want to pull the string, right? You don't want to pull it out like this. Instead, you just want to make this loop and then pull it. And then you'll just continuously make this loop until you reach a desired length. And then you're gonna tie knots. So let's time lapse this and I'll show you when I'm done. Okay guys, so if hopefully that time lapse wasn't a little bit too fast for you. You can always stop the video and do it yourself. I found out I ran, ran out of string, so I'm gonna tell you guys now that you need a long piece of string for this kind of bracelet. And a mistake that you can make, like me, is sometimes you might start the thing too long in the beginning so that you don't have as much string in the end, but I, that's okay because you can just still wear it like this. I think this bracelet is pretty nice. It has kind of like a special pattern to it. And I still haven't ended because um, if you pull, remember, don't ever pull this or else your work is gonna be broken, I guess, and you're gonna have to start out all over again. Instead, when you're done, you want to take the string, not to pull it, remember, and put it inside the loop and then pull it. So you're basically making a knot at the end. And this is how you make a little bracelet. If you like this video, please like, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Remember that next week I'm gonna, hopefully next week or next next week, I'm gonna be posting a video. Next week I might not because it's Halloween week. Um, but next, next week, be sure to um, remember to come back to my channel and watch my paper airplane video. Bye!